Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, blue shaded polygon uh, ADBC fully confined uh, in this uh, given uh, square grid. As you can see in this uh, diagram, in other words, uh, all these uh, given grids are square. That means this side length equal to this side length, uh, this side length, uh, this side length as well. And furthermore, uh, this uh, segment uh, AC is uh, seven units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. And let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Since we are dealing with these uh, square grids, uh, that means uh, all these squares have uh, equal length. Uh, that means uh, this side length uh, is going to be equal to this side length. I'm going to label that one as uh, lowercase a. Then this side length is going to be lowercase a, lowercase a, lowercase a, lowercase a, all the way over here, lowercase a and lowercase a as well. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AEC. And we know this uh, angle AEC is going to be 90 degrees since we are dealing with these uh, squares and now we can see for this uh, triangle AEC this uh, hypotenuse is uh, 7 this side length uh, AE is lowercase a and likewise uh, this uh, EC side length is going to be a plus a plus a that is going to make uh, 3 times a and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to find the value of uh, side length uh, a and here is our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square in our case our hypotenuse is uh, 7 and our two other legs are uh, 3a and uh, a let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we got uh, a square plus uh, 3 times a whole square equal to 7 square. Let's simplify that is going to give us uh, a square uh, plus uh, 9 times uh, a square equals to 49 and that is going to give us uh, 10 times uh, a square equals to 49. I am going to divide both sides uh, by 10 and here we can see this 10 and 10 is gone. So therefore a square turns out to be 49 divided by 10 and I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides and therefore we can see our side length uh, lowercase a turns out to be square root of 49 is 7 divided by square root of uh, 10. And now we are going to rationalize the denominator. So therefore I'm going to multiply and divide by square root of 10 at the very same time. And we can see square root of 10 times square root of 10 is going to be simply 10. So therefore our side length lowercase a turns out to be 7 times square root of 10 divided by 10. So thus the side length uh, of each of these uh, squares uh, represented by lowercase a turns out to be 7 times square root of 10 divided by 10. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC. We are talking about uh, this triangle uh, ABC area and that is going to be equal to the other uh, blue triangle uh, ABD area. We are talking about uh, this uh, triangle uh, ABD area by the definition of uh, symmetry. In other words, if the area of this triangle uh, ABC is uh, uppercase A, then the area of the other triangle uh, ABD is going to be uppercase A as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC and we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times the base uh, times the height. And in our case for this uh, blue triangle ABC, this uh, AB is the base uh, 
of uh, this uh, triangle and this uh, side uh, is the height uh, of this uh, blue triangle so therefore we can see the base of this uh, triangle is going to be a and this is a as well becomes uh, 2 times uh, a so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so the area of this blue triangle abc is going to be a half uh, times uh, the base of this triangle is 2 times uh, a times uh, the height of this uh, triangle is uh, lowercase a and if we simplify this one we can see 2 and 1 divided by 2 cancel each other out so therefore this is going to be simply a times a is going to make uh, a square so thus the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, abc turns out to be a square where our a value is uh, 7 times square root of 10 divided by 10 so therefore we can substitute that value so this is going to be 7 times uh, square root of 10 divided by 10 whole square so therefore that is going to give us 49 times this is going to be 10 divided by 100 and if we simplify this one that is going to give us 49 divided by 10 and that is going to be equal to 4.9 so the area of this uh, blue triangle ABC turns out to be 4.9 square units. And now let's recall this uh, crucial fact once again. The area of the blue triangle uh, ABC equal to the area of the other triangle uh, ABD as well. We know the area of this uh, triangle ABC is uh, 4.9 square units. Then the area of this uh, other triangle uh, ABD is going to be 4.9 square units as well so thus the total blue shaded area is going to be the sum of uh, these two individual areas so i can write uh, 4.9 plus uh, 4.9 once again and if we add them that is going to give us uh, 9.8 uh, square uh, units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, region turns out to be 9.8 uh, square units in other words the area of this uh, blue shaded region turns out to be 9.8 uh, square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye